Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Tommy Edwards joins us now from Casa of West Sin Law. Tommy, thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Of course. Yes, and I know that you'll have a lot of great volunteer opportunities over at Casa of West Sin Law. We do. Please tell us more about it. Well, Casa of West Sin Law, what we do is we cover down on Beauregard and Vernon Parish, uh, Derrida and Leesville, and also Fort Johnson. Uh, our advocates advocate for children in the 30th and 36th JDC. Uh, we j we're just wrapping up a class now. We had uh, two people go through it. We're in a rural area, so you know it can be a little bit of a challenge, but we got some great people that volunteer for the kids. Uh, so we're preparing now to go into our next training, which starts on September the 5th, um, and we'll be doing it in Leesville. And so uh, we're recruiting to have additional uh, individuals join us and come in and advocate for children in Borgard Parish. Our advocates they probably travel anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 miles a month advocating for the children, uh, spending somewhere around 200 case hours advocating for the kids that we have right now, children that we have. My wife always tells me, it's children, not kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I try to make sure we do that. Yeah. But, um, but they advocate for the best interests of the children in the courts uh, in Borgard and Burnish. And we're part of Louisiana CASA, uh, the network, and also National CASA. Uh, but CASA, I've been with the program now for, uh, I guess, about 15 years. I've been the director for about 10, and it just always amazes me the, the goodness and the kindness of people that uh, come out to advocate and work with us to get these children a safe, permanent place as soon as possible. Absolutely. Yes, now tell me about the difference it makes for these foster kids to have a CASA advocate on their case as opposed to not. So if. If they have an advocate on their case, they tend to go home quicker or at least find permanency quicker. They have someone that's there speaking directly for them, whereas a child that doesn't have an advocate may not have someone that's the voice for him. Uh, National CASA likes to say that uh, the children, uh, the advocates are the one constant in the child's life while they're in care. And what they're saying is the judge normally will stay the same, but the caseworker may change, foster homes may change. Uh, different elements, teachers, schools, etc., and they change, but we try to ensure that that CASA volunteer stays with that child for the duration of their case. So when they um, find permanency, if they're reunited with their family, if they're adopted, if they're um, um, age out or whatever, we try to make sure that that advocate stays with them until that case closes. Now, tell me about uh, what the advocate does specifically. Okay. So the advocate, what they'll do is they'll meet with the child every 30 days. They will talk to anyone that has anything to do with the child. They talk to teachers, doctors. Uh, they speak to the child's attorney, their parents, uh, their foster care workers, uh, sometimes even, uh, you know, fictive kin. But they'll talk to anybody to gather information uh, about what's going on with that child currently. And then they'll communicate that information to the judge uh, in a court report about every six months. And y'all help, uh, you have advocate uh, leaders really who help uh, those advocates write a court report and it's not really as scary as it sounds, right? Right, right. Well, I was an advocate, that's how I started. I did about three years as an advocate and the advocate supervisors are great. Uh, but yeah, you won't be put in a canoe and pushed out by yourself. <laughs> we stay with you to make sure that, uh, you know, what you have seen, the information that you've gathered, you're able to communicate that to the judge. It's their report, but we, we work with them to make sure that it gets uh, prepared and it's yeah it's, it, it can feel like a daunting thing but yeah we, we help them work through it and really it's the advocate using their their knowledge and what they've seen and heard to kind of make recommendations on the best interest of the child and that's it right correct okay uh, we you know we ask them uh, and we train them to gather facts you know uh, we want them to be as descriptive as possible when they talk about their interactions with the child what they see when they go to the foster home what they see when they go to uh, uh, meetings or visits with the parents and be able to just describe the facts. So that way the judge can take not only that court report but the DCFS court report or anything else that they get and they can make a good decision on the permanency for the child. Now when you were an advocate yourself, do you have any cases that really just stand out? Well, I had one case that, that really stood out and I'm a father of three, I got nine grandkids. So I'm pretty, you know, pretty happy with those little people. But I had one case where the young uh, man, all he really wanted was a family. And <laughs> I used to always try to get him to understand, hey, look, even if you get yourself a family, you know, he wanted to be an adult with a family. And I told him, I said, you, you have to go through school. You got to get your uh, education. You got to develop a skill 
And it was so difficult for him to connect those two dots. But he was the greatest kid. And, uh, you know, working with him was, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was good. But that one will always stick with me. That's but uh, he just really wanted a family. Oh, that that's wholeness. so touching. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Well, if people are looking to volunteer and really make a difference in the lives of children here locally, how do they get started? Well, what they can do is they can contact us either by uh, at our phone number, 337-239-1970 or 337-462-4667. Go to Facebook, leave us a message. Go to our website, which is Casa of West Sinla, or Casa West Sinla, and leave us a message. And once they do that, then we'll set up a time to do a uh, pre-screen with them. Once we pre-screen them, uh, we'll set them up a time to come and do the training. The training is 30 hours, about 15 hours is uh, in class, and the other is uh, on the computer at home. And once we get that all done, do all the backgrounds, uh, then we get them sworn in by a judge. And once that's done, we can assign them to a case. Fantastic. Yep. Easy enough. It is. Well, Tommy, thank you so much for joining us on the show, telling us all about this great volunteer opportunity. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for having us. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sin Love right after this break.